Now, Sunday night TV just wouldn't be the same without a good costume drama, like, of course, Black Rise to Candleford, and Candleford's postmistress, Julia Swalla, joins me now. Third series. Yes. And it really has been doing amazingly well, hasn't it? It's yes, fantastic. Yeah. I must be really pleased. I think it took its while, you know, on the first series to get into the public's conscience. Yeah. But, uh, yeah, we're, we're thrilled. Oh, yeah. people love it. They absolutely do. <clears throat> and, and your character really is the heart and soul of it, I think. And she... She kind of, she's got this thing about kind of taking in waifs and strays. You know, she, she's, she's a good woman. She is a good woman. She's got good values. I mean, she can be looked upon as someone who meddles a bit, but a people, bit. people do come a and ask bit. her for mm. advice. No, so exactly. She can't help herself, you know. No, it's good. And a great cast you've got, too. Oh, fabulous. We're like a theatre company, you know. Yeah, there are yeah. so many different types of actors, different mm. types of temperaments, and it's just, it's just fabulous to work on it. Um, it's very challenging. <laughs> no, I'm, I'm sure it is, but it's just got everything right. It looks beautiful, yeah. you know. It sometimes looks like a movie. It's so gorgeous. Well, it's extraordinary because people think that it's got this huge budget. Yeah, um, it looks as if it has. But, it, but it's but just no. down to a uh, brilliant crew and ah. fantastic art department, costume designers, mm. makeup designers. You know, it's all down to their brilliant And I guess you're a very tight-knit bunch. We are now, yeah. You know, now that you've got to know each other. We're a proper little all community, that. yeah. Oh, yeah. it's great. Why do you think it has worked so well, though? I mean, is it, is it down to the writing, do you think? Is that, once you get that, mm. you know, if you get that right, everything else seems to work? I think so. It's a hard one to answer because I'm in it. I'm not, yeah. I'm not watching it. But I, most of the, th the, the comment that's mostly made to me by the general public is that there's no violence in it. I mean, it's every true. single person says, you know why I like it? Because there's nothing violent in it. Yeah. I think it's easy on the ear, it's easy on the eye, it's mm. not too challenging, there's enough drama, there's enough conflict, and there's enough humour, and it's beautiful to look at. It is, an, and also, um, which is something that doesn't happen very often, you could actually sit down and watch it with the whole family. Yes. You could. Absolutely, yeah. And you yeah. can't really say that about many things. No, no, that's true. So yeah. that, that's good. Let's have a sneaky preview. This okay. is from this week's Let's Have a Look. Ah, she doesn't mean that. <laughs> <laughs> I love Minnie. You have to fake it to make it. I, <laughs> I do love Minnie. She's, she's absolutely she's adorable. She's isn't lovely, she? isn't she? She yeah. gets all her words wrong all the time. Yeah. She's really sweet. But we will find out what happens to Timothy, won't we? We, we find that out in the next couple of weeks, I believe. Yes. So that mystery will be, will be solved. Because that's been kind of yes. hanging over a little while. Hanging yes, over there, hasn't yeah, it? Yes, it has. Yeah. Oh, so it, it's fantastic. How long do you actually work on this then? Is it about half the year that you would be working it's on? It's about seven months. Right, that's yeah. a huge commitment, isn't it? But yeah, that's fantastic. rather nice. Oh, it's fantastic no, it's to be good. an actor in work, especially in this current climate, for seven not months. Half, not having doing something that you love as well. Absolutely. It's good quality, yeah, full which of is gratitude great. every second of the day. So now you're a bit of a country girl now, aren't you? You've I moved am. out into the country. How long ago have you been I live in Somerset, you? about Gorgeous. six years. Oh, that's great. Yeah. And yeah. do you really find that that has been great for you? Just, I mean, I mean, London is brilliant, mm. absolutely brilliant, but you can... You can live in the country and still work. And yeah, you know, I mean, I'm a London girl, it. born and bred. Sure. And, and so, you know, I, I love London. Um, but when I moved to Somerset, it was just such an easy transition. And then I got Lark Rice to Candleford, which is all filmed in Somerset. Oh, so happy days. I think it was the universe's way of telling me that I was doing the right thing. Oh, that's you know, really so good. God, really it doesn't work lucky. out like that very often. No, that's it doesn't. Great. No, that's no. really good. And tell me, you look beautiful. You're absolutely fantastic. Tiny. Um, is it true that you, just, you have a raw diet? You eat raw food? Raw food? Yes. Yes. Okay, does that not get boring? No, <laughs> everybody thinks I just eat carrots, right, okay. you know, but there are raw food recipe books out there and there right. are raw food restaurants and there are all sorts of things you can okay. do with raw food, like an avocado, you can blend it up and mix it with raw chocolate powder and banana mm. and use it as an icing on a raw food chocolate cake and children would not know that they were eating an avocado. You know, okay, like that. you've sold me on it. When you, as soon as you mentioned raw food to chocolate, I was, I was with you. I was definitely with you. I still eat chocolate though, proper oh, of chocolate. of course. <laughs> Anything you miss? Anything, any sort of food you think mm, quite fancy? I, well, I miss uh, cheddar cheese. Ah, okay. yeah. I mean, I do eat goat's cheese and feta cheese, right. but I think cheddar cheese, and I don't eat wheat, so I do miss bread. Ah, I bet you do. That's, yeah. that's a difficult one. But is that, I mean, when the catering truck comes round, do you know sometimes think, oh, have you got to bring your own stuff in and meet up a red bowl? No, yeah, <laughs> I do bring my own stuff in, but they're fantastic and they do cater for me. And uh, to be honest, on, on cold days, I go for the bowl of chips. Oh, oh yeah. yeah, of course. <laughs> Who wouldn't? Yeah, Who wouldn't? absolutely. So it's something that you try to adhere to, but you... Yeah, well, I don't again. restrict myself to no. the point where I'm going to make myself miserable. No, no, there's no, no point. And <laughs> is it just purely a health thing? Is it just really Yeah, I health? went on a detox course a couple of years ago, and it was all about raw food, and um, it just worked. It's something that works for me. Right. You know, I wouldn't advocate it for everybody unless they see a nutritionist and they of see course. their doctor and all that kind of thing, but it's just... 
yeah, it makes me feel good. So. Well, you look great on it. You're a fantastic Thank advert you. for it. Thank you really you. are. It's <laughs> lovely to see you, Julia. Thank you so much for Thank coming you in. For having and obviously, me. we will be watching on Sunday night. Thank you very good. much indeed.